I want to make another quick video on uh, how to insert a reference that is not in the database. For example, uh, I found uh, a reference in here, this Fornos et al. 2002, that is not in the database, and I want to insert it. First of all, I want to make sure that it's not in the database. I go into the C-level references here. As usual, it takes a little bit because there's lots of data that needs to be loaded. But there it is, and I type in the first author search the database to make sure that the paper I want to insert is not there. So there's only one paper with Fornos as um, co-author, but not the paper I want. So what I can do is insert either insert a new reference from here, and this you can do whenever you are not compiling actively data. So whenever you are um, uh, into um, you are in no form in particular, or if you are inside a form, you can also go to the edit button here and uh, the same form will open, the insert new reference form will open. So what you can do is add new. Uh, and first of all, what I would do is basically go here, copy this record and paste it on Google Scholar. So we have it nice and easy. We check that it's the same, and it is. Um, I take the um, Harvard format for citation, and I paste it here. I copy, and I paste it here in uh, the full reference field. So we need another couple of uh, references, uh, or another couple of um, uh, fields to be filled, uh, mandatory. So one is Fornos, one is the short reference, Fornos et al. 2002. Here I have to insert the journal or book. It's not mandatory, uh, but it's always good to do it. Uh, so the journal is Geodynamica Acta. I can see if it's already, yeah, it's already in the database, so this means that there is already a paper in Geodynamica Acta put in the database. The year is 2002. Uh, and then there is a bunch of uh, non-mandatory fields, for example, the nation. I could put Spain. I could put multiple, um, uh, multiple nations in here if the paper is, for example, review. It's MIS-5 and the reports C-level indicators. This is not mandatory, but uh, it's good to insert it. Um, it's also cool if there is a digital object identifier or a link to the paper. In this case, I think there is a link to the web page from Google Scholar. I can copy and paste here. I copy, I copy, and I paste the DOI here so it will be readily available to people who are going to um, access this record. So then I save it, and my record is inserted. So now if I access the relative C level record, for example, in here, and I add the new data, for example. This is just a very quick one. I can search in here. For Nos et al. 2002 Geodynamica, which is the record I just inserted. So this is how to quickly insert a reference. Uh, what I would suggest when you're compiling a database is that you insert the main references when you start, so or you check that they are already there, so you don't have to go back to this form every time you are adding a new one.